Hello guys, my name is the King Reaper and welcome back to some more Outlast. As you can see, I'm a bit ahead. Wait, my camera won't cooperate, it won't cooperate. Okay, that's good enough. Anyways, as you can see, I'm a bit ahead of the game. Don't worry, it's not that far though. Like, I just needed like to get like a key card that was really short wave. So, um, let's continue. Uh, let's see. Uh, wait. Oh yeah, I've been through here. Yeah, I kind of went through here and explored a bit since I wanted to play, but I was not realizing realizing I was recording because I'm a dummy. Anyway, uh, who's there? I swear to God, if Chris Walker's here, but let's just say Chris Walker's extremely annoying. He is annoying, like really, really annoying. He'll chase you literally everywhere. Oh god. Okay, let's see. Worst part is the guy looks like he's so fat, yeah, he can run so fast. That's the worst part. It's weird though. The ga the camera gets really f when I you put up the camera, everything goes darker. But when I take off the camera, it looks super awesome and bright. I don't get how that works. Anyways, I think we're just gonna have to go back. Yeah, I'm gonna just have to go back here since. Wait, wasn't this where the twins were? Yep, no way I'm going back. Let's see. I remember there was another door somewhere. Over here. Yep. Yeah, just so you know guys, a heads up, this is where I'm going to be chased. As soon as I open this door, Chris is going to come walking towards me. Let's see. Nothing, nothing yet. God. Well, that's one way, that, well, that's the worst way to die, that's all I know. Ah. Here's one way in. As soon as I activate this thing, Chris is just gonna come walk running through. Yep, I'm gone. See ya, Chris. I had to try to. I gotta try to juke this guy out. Alright then. Seems easy enough. Explosion! Yay! Oh god, that's forgot to hurt, does it? Ah, worst place to land in. Just gonna say that. Warner Brothers, what were you thinking? Find an altered. I know where this is. Chris is in here. There he is. Okay. Um, um. Uh, can you please go away, please? Please go away. Go on, shoo. Just go away. I gotta figure out his pattern. Where does he walk to and how do I get past him? Because I do not want to run it. Okay, he's there. Which way does he turn to? Come on, man. Where do you go? So he walks back out. All you simply have to do is just try to get past them. That seems simple enough. I have nightmares. I know that for a fact. Hmm. Let's just wait for Chris to get past. Oh, this close should be good enough. 
All right, Chris. Get your ugly mug over here so you can run past you. You can be a dummy. And let me run past you. Since this game's super easy, actually. Yeah, depending on the difficulty, you can either have a heart attack. Cause you'll li this guy will literally... Because depending on the difficulty, like, if it's insane, the enemies will literally check everywhere. Like, under the beds, lockers, literally everywhere just to find you. Worst part is, this guy's a one-shot. And I'm gone. See ya! And I'm gone. Don't call me little pig. You suck. See ya! You suck, man. Well, we just got back. Um, uh, nope, 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 nope. There's literally no one gonna get past this. Okay, um, over here. Is it? Oh god. Um, uh, please keep away from me. Please. I am. I'm scared out of my mind. Okay. Oh, come on. Are you... Get off of me. Okay. Um. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha ha! How is that supposed to hide you? D documents. I'm just saying. I found a few documents, so I'm gonna put it for three seconds so you guys can see. One, two, three. Too fast, I know. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit cold. I'm showered. One, two, three. One, two. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. I wonder, has anyone ever tried searching these things up on the internet? Like, searching up those usernames. That would be awesome. Let's see if that was a cool Easter egg. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, there's two inches ways. One through the roof. And what do I do here? Locked. Great. So locked. Yep. Just so you know, guys, when you're running, only do it in, like, areas are locked off. Because that way they can't hear you, you can get to places faster. Or unless you're bold and you decide just to gun it. Alright? I mean, I, I did hear a guy that speed run this game for, like, 30 minutes or a minute or so. Or, or something. All I know is I never saw a guy you Who's there? Oh, God. Hey, ugly. Hey, ugly. Hey, ugly. Careful. I just love this game. It's amazing. Thank God one of my, one of my cousin's cousin decided to show me this game. It's awesome. And he played a tube on, he was crazy though, and decided to play it on Sane. Basically, people that play games are like super hard, like extremely difficult, and I heard about, and I know they're difficult, I'm gonna think, nope, they're insane. Because this game I heard was extremely hard and insane difficulty, like every enemy one shots you.
I suggest looting in this game as much as possible because I know some people are going to probably have a hard time. So I suggest you do that. Ah, oh, great. Let's see. Uh, okay. Why do they have to copy the Treyarch symbol? Let's see. Oh yeah, notes. Wall Rider. The word Wall Rider is all over this place. Murkoff was running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider. But the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, a spirit or demon. Something they found in the mountain. I chalk it up to the schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe, maybe it was a glitch in the camera, or maybe this place is getting to me. I'm not there. This place can get to anybody. You I mean, just look at this. It won't get to me though. Surprisingly, someone's here. I know someone's here. I'm just trying to do as much as possible here. Here we go. By the way, if you use this as a guide, I suggest you try some part of it alone since it'll be more fun and it's best played without any spoilers. That's all I'm gonna say. This game is best played without spoilers, so I suggest you play it without them. So, also, it'll give you a try to test your mic, because this game is easy to get lost in. How the heck does this work? I know this place. Just so you know, guys, that big guy is going to keep following us no matter where we go. So, I'd suggest you keep running. I'm not kidding. Keep running. Best part, worst part is just leads to lose, lose sight the story. If they were making Outlast 3, just add like a mechanic that allows you to pick up like objects, like, like these types, and just throw them on somewhere so they can distract enemies. Like Warner Bros. That's a horror, horror game logic 101. You should learn to add stuff like that to give the player an advantage or something, like for stealth. Like the distractions. I mean, even with them pulled it off, why can't you too? Alright, let's see what else. I heard Outlast 2 was rivaled, rivaled Resident Evil 7 with this game because it was its horror. Oh, auto save. Great. I'm gonna have nightmares. Oh, hey, Wall Rider. Yeah, that was all right. You just saw that ghost. Oh, let's see. Let's keep going. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Where to go next? Oh, I know. I'm gonna go to my death. Document. All right. I remember last time I had a hard time just getting past this part. It was annoying. Yep, that is why I hate mental asylums. Let's see, the gospel of sand. What the heck is that? One, two, three. Now's your time to see it. Ah, this sucks. Um, um, I'm gonna go insane from this. That's where my last video was named. Save my batteries. Oh, wait. Uh. Find a way to flush the water by turning the two valves. Worst part is fatty McFat fats here. And sneaking past them is not an easy thing to do. See that guy right there? Yeah, he's gonna be hard to dodge. This guy is so fat. Just look at him. Worst part is, getting chased by this guy's like a death sentence.
Yeah, you can't find me in here, bruh. Ah. See, I need a, I'm gonna need to plan something out. I don't know if I'm gonna get past this part. I only have like five minutes left, so I'm not gonna have a lot of time left. Just try to figure out my way around this. Just like so you can pass it. Uh, I'll try to see if I can figure out my layout first before I get chased. Let's see. He's heading over there, so that's one part that's gonna be blocked. And, um... So, basically, he has this pattern. He goes... Basically, he goes over here. Goes this way. Then, um... Wait, which way is gonna go next? And he comes over here to the left. So I have my opportunity to go to over there, to the right, or over there. My best bet is for him to go over here, and then walk straight ahead. Okay, he breaks doors now. Okay, I've been here for like a minute. Um, I'm making a run for it. I love the voice acting, spot on. Close. And before I start. Drink water. I know. Oh. I know he's gonna break in here. I know it. That just freaked me out. Um, I think I just found my other safe spot. Wait, I hear him. Yep, I hear him. Uh, I think I'm just gonna end it off here, cause I don't know, man. I'm just, it's like, if you guys look up, if I, look, let me show you guys. I can show you guys for just a sec, really quick. It is currently dark outside. And um, yeah, I have this thing where if I'm in the dark and I play scary horror games in the dark, I just start panicking and I keep on thinking, I get like paranoia that someone's outside my house and I keep on worrying. So um, yeah, so, and sometimes